everybody. It's really great to see you again and I'm really glad because today I've got a lovely little lesson for you where I show you how to paint a fairy in poster paints. Oh, and they're my two little protégés. So I'll be using poster paints to create my little cherub and incidentally, if fairies aren't your thing, stay tuned because I've got another lesson coming up that might appeal to boys. But hurry up! Patience, children. <laughs> Lovely kids. If you do love art and you're not there now, then come over to www.montmart.net because we've got lots more awesome lessons there. We also have our Facebook attached to that and our Creative Connection. And if you subscribe to our Creative Connection, then we can send you lots of really cool stuff. So, let's get into it! Okay then, kids, have you got your paper? Yeah! And your pencil? Yeah! Well, let's get into it. First, divide the paper up into three parts. One, two, three. Now let's draw a circle. Once your circle's in, then draw an angle to mark the back position. Then two arms, the body, and a circle for the hips and the bottom of the legs. Then mark in the outside of the legs and lay in the hands. We can now do the next step, which is filling out our fairy. Create a hairline starting from the centre of the forehead area. Draw the jawline in and draw in those elliptical eyes. In between those construction lines, pop on a mouth and a little mark to represent the nose. Then finish the hair. Lay in the flowing hemline and draw in the dress. Then mark in the rest of the body. Draw in her little scepter and finally the legs. The last part of the drawing stage is the wings. So what kind of wings would you like? Butterfly wings! Butterfly wings. Okay, let's draw them. Imagine the wings are emanating from the centre of her back. The wings are squarish shapes, but the corners are rounded. Make the second set of bottom wings end with a round point at the bottom. Create the border in crescent shape on the edge of each wing, and voila! Time now to add some paint to our fairy. And a project like this is all about colour. Poster paint colour. Now. This is the Montmartre Kids poster paint and isn't it a fantastic, amazing range? As well as standard colours, we also have fluorescent colours and metallic colours. So let's pour some of this out and get it on our artwork. I'm pouring this into a deep well plastic palette. I'm using a set of gallery series brushes. And this set has a largest flat brush in the set as well as some medium rounds. I then paint the background in with the violet. Try to get this down as quickly as you can and make it as smooth as you can. Mix the skin colour from pink, yellow and white. Give it a good mix and then apply it with the filbert from the pack. The filbert has a nice round tip and is quite good for detail work as well as broad areas. Then lay in pure pink for the dress and darken the underside of the dress with some red. Of course you can colour the fairy any colour you like, but I guess you can't get a better colour for a fairy's dress than pink. Good job Bella. So what colour should we make the wings then? Blue! Okay. So because I've been told to use blue, I guess I'd better squeeze out some of it and get it on as fast as I can. I then use some yellow for the hair. Sienna's decided to paint her scepter blue as well. How good does that look? For the eyes, I use some dark blue on top of the eyes and then some light blue in on the underside of the eyes. Well, what do you think, guys? Looks great! Fantastic! Yeah. Well, let's keep going and add some black. Paint the outside of the wings black using a mid-sized flat and lay in the pupils with the filbert and just a dot of black. I then dot some white highlights into the eyes and voila! There's my fairy. I really hope you enjoy doing this one too. Thanks for watching!